What a guan star. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another lesson from your professor. Massive male angst school of sexual market. Excuse me, Mail Inc. School of Sexual Intrinsic Value Economics. Today we're going to tackle the topic of the economics of social benefits. What's going on? It's your man Lo, Mail Inc. Why Cry MGTOW Till I Die. I want to give a shout out to the entire MGTOW verse. What's going on, Daddy? What's crack a lacking? And I'm going to give you a refresher first before I. Uh, this video is going to be in two parts. So, the first part is going to be a refresher on the concept of diminishing returns and the second is going to be uh getting into uh putting numbers behind it and um and how it applies to sexual marketplace value and social benefits in a nutshell diminishing returns means units of output from a production process that decrease with respect to the increase in inputs Imagine you're a baker and it takes an ounce of flour to bake a cake. Your input is one ounce of flour and your output is one cake. Diminishing returns is anything that causes you to have to put in more than one ounce of flour per one cake baked. Many things can cause this. Um, a change in the ingredients, a change in the farmer's uh, farming processes, government regulations, blase blase. You get the picture. Looking at diminishing returns in a common sense notion is best explained through diminishing utility. And utility is kind of like how much something makes you happy. How much use you get out of something. Now, suppose you were hungry. and you hadn't eaten anything all day long. Would one hamburger make you happy? Of course. And what if I gave you another hamburger? Now you have two hamburgers. Would you be happier? Maybe. Let's say I now give you three hamburgers. <laughs> Now you're probably, if you haven't gotten full off the second hamburger by now, you're about to get full off this one. Most people do. And it's not necessarily going to make you happier, but you do have more. So more is better, right? Now let's say I want to make you even happier, so I gave you another hamburger. Now you have a total of four hamburgers. You're probably about ready to throw up by now. Still not happy? Okay, well, let me give you a whopping 10 hamburgers, a whopping 10 whoppers, if you will. Now you're probably wanting to shoot me if I even try to shove another hamburger down your throat. So that's the concept of diminishing utility. You don't get happier past a certain point as I add more to what you already have. So what this teaches us is that more is not always better and the higher you get or the closer you get to being satisfied the less each marginal unit is going to satisfy you here's a here's a clip i snagged off the internet uh, with uh, of a graph that shows what the uh, diminishing returns to utility looks like now you'll see like the the total joy on the y-axis and the uh, number of slices of pizza on the x-axis so it's like the total amount of joy you get per per slice of pizza or with respect to the number of slice of slices of pizza and um, the the joy the joy numbers the the 
the figures in the total joy are arbitrary figures. They'll be different from person to person. I mean, you can assign an arbitrary value to it, but the bottom line is no matter who you are, the overall shape of the curve is still going to pretty much be the same. Tune in to the next video where we apply this concept to the topic of diminishing social benefits with respect to sexual marketplace value. This is your man Lowe, aka Manomatics, aka the Angst Man, Male Angst Why I Cry, MGTOW Till I Die. Over and out. Peace.